uh, and I'm running for the Board of Education. Uh, unlike a lot of the candidates running for the Board of Education, I, I am not an educator and I don't have a PhD, uh, but what I do have is experience in public schools that did a turnout. <coughs> well. And I want to talk a little bit about that. Uh, my mom was a welder, my mom was a retail cook, but I was a welder, and I went to public schools. I got into the best high school in New York City. I tested really well. Uh, and in high school, I came out uh, as openly gay. My parents were having a real tough time, and I dropped out. Um, and no one really asked, why are you coming back to school? I was a stuyvesant, walked away, no one ever asked why. Uh, in our district today, we have 16% of students who don't graduate, and people ask, don't ask why. They say, why aren't you here? Is it because your parents lost their job? Is it because you're having a tough time? Is it because you're having a personal problem? We need to make sure that kids graduate from our school district. Uh, and I think it's important to have someone on the school board with these set of experiences. I've been able to be successful. I earned my GED at John Adams. I became chief of staff to a state legislator up in Sacramento. So I have the skills and the connections to bring the needed resources to the school district. But it's my personal experience uh, that leads me to believe that this is the right race at this time. When I was looking at the supervisor's race and spending time in the Bayview and in Petrero Hill, you saw the achievement gap happen. You saw people lose out on opportunity and hope because they didn't even have a high school diploma. And you know, with the exit exam, with some of the different choices we make in our schools, we're locking kids out of that opportunity for a good job uh, and, a good, and a good opportunity in their lives. So I'm in this race. I'm excited about it. I really would appreciate the endorsement of the Petrero Hill uh, Democratic Club because I think what we need to do uh, is to focus on these kids who are smart and are willing to go to school and who need to be ready to learn when they arrive and need support of the school district to do so. Uh, I, I would say one other thing, and I thought the question about high achievers was good. How do we make sure uh, that high achievers are in our school district? Fully 39% of kids today uh, go to private school uh, in our city. It's the highest percentage of any county in the state. Uh, and until we can reverse that and bring a diverse group of people back into our school district, we're not going to build the public institution that we need. Uh, and that's one of the other things I'm committed to, uh, is making sure that we actually start addressing school assignment and bringing those families back in so they can lift everybody up and we can have a better unified school district. With that, I will take any questions. What was the percent at private schools? 39% of uh, schools uh, in the county go to private program. And how do you kind of drawing those 39% from the One of the reasons why a lot of parents uh, send their kids to parochial school is for religious reasons, and I don't think that's going to change. Uh, but for those parents who send their kids to secular school because they can't get assigned to an elementary or middle school in their neighborhood, I think we need to do better about improving quality in every neighborhood and making parents feel confident that their kids can get into a school uh, where they will, that will be safe uh, and where their kids will learn. Um, and I think when we make that commitment, we'll see greater enrollment. How? How? Um, so on the, on the school assignment side, we're moving in that direction. Uh, there was a decision uh, to give neighborhoods a little bit more uh, influence, uh, and that will be implemented in the first way, way next year. Um, but I think we need to be vigilant. We need to go out and recruit those parents. You know, the wealthy schools, the private schools, have a really aggressive enrollment program. They find out who are these families who want to come to our schools. USD doesn't. Each school has a little budget. They get to do some marketing. Uh, and I think we need to do a better job of marketing those schools and making parents feel confident that when they pick seven choices, they might get even one. 